everyone. I hope you have a great weekend. This is Monday, start of a trading week, and I want to wish you all a good week ahead. And today I'm going to be arming you with a new strategy that you can use to take to the markets this coming week. This is the Ikumoku Cloud Indicator. And as you know, I've taken out a lot of the lines because it can be an overwhelming indicator for many people. So I decided to strip down what's absolutely required. And at the same time, you notice I have an MACD as well. This, by the way, is on Pocket Option. So it's one of my preferred platforms because there's a lot of uh, charting, a lot of assets. And best part, the OTC actually works very well with these various strategies as well. So even though OTC is a synthetic market, but technical analysis on Pocket Option applies very well. You can support me with a Pocket Option account by clicking a link in the video description. Let's jump into the strategy. You can actually set up the Ikumoku Cloud by going to the indicator section and clicking on Ikumoku Kinko Hyo over here. Go over to the pencil icon. I leave everything on defaults and I go to the style section. And depending on what you select, this is the Tenkan Sen. We don't need that. This could have other uses. You can use that for trading in different ways. We'll explore that in the future. But for now, we'll only be using, basically, we don't even need the Kijun Sen. We're just using the Span A and Span B. But the reason why I want to keep the Kijun Sen over there is because it's like the longest moving average of the other ones. Do we need MACD? No, we don't. The MACD, I put it there as a visualizer. Why? So for example, for this, when the price action is very, we can see that it's very thin and close to the line over here. Very short bars, and this is something that you don't want to trade. Alternatively, you can also use things like the ADX. And how the ADX would help, once again, we can erase the lines that are not important. We'll just remove the positive and negative and save it. And what I generally like to use is like 25% and above. We trade 25% and below, we do not trade. So all this and the 10 something, we do not trade. Why? Because the volatility is way too little and it's dangerous for us to trade, but we can see that here as well. So I will go with this one instead. Let's go to the OTC pairs. There are different ways that we can trade this. This is the five second chart, please take note. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you two ways of trading. Like the first way is when we trade less frequently, longer expiry. And then the second way, I'm gonna be switching this to a more intense, higher frequency way of trading that you can do, which uses Martingale. So again, depends on your account sizes. My goal is to create strategies that are safe regardless of the account size. And for those people who wanna trade uh, without Martingales or less Martingales, this is something that in this video, the two methods would show you something that applies to each preference. So we're going to go with the first approach. The first approach is once we have a cross of the cloud, this is the cloud made by span A and span B. Span A and span B are effectively like a no trade zone. And only when the price comes out of the no trade zone, then we enter for a trade. So likewise, when it comes out of the no trade zone, then we enter for a trade. There will no doubt be some pullbacks the pullbacks can be into the no trade zone before coming out again, or it can be coming out of the thing and pulling back close to the no trade zone and then moving away again. Either of this is possible, but regardless of the case, we can actually go back into the trade and we can generally uh, assume that when it comes out of the no trade zone, it stays out. To a very much smaller extent, it does not, such as the one over here at the 173 mark. So in those cases, what do you do? You wait for the next cycle. Now this one is closing outside of it, and I will actually take the entry. You can actually wait for it to pull back closer to the no trade zone, um, or you can just simply go for it. I will then give you two ways of trade management. The first way is going to be the more conservative way, which is that if you lose this, then you enter only on the next cross of the no trade zone. That way you margin go at a very minimum. But at a more advanced way of doing it is that when there is a pullback, the second time it moves away, then you take the entry again. My observation in doing this is that it is far easier to do it when you're trading with the OTC market. Believe it or not, the OTC market is more predictable than the actual 
live forex market, you'll be surprised. The live forex market is very choppy, but the OTC market has more predictable movements. I forgot to uh, up the trading size because this actually is, um, I was previously doing a, a more intense strategy. So now we're going to wait for another cross of the lines. So let's see if we can find one. About what I was talking about earlier, in case it loses, okay, uh, it comes back to a no trade zone, close to it and pulls away without crossing this blue line. Let me refresh and name what that is. The Kijun Sen. Then we can take it again. So we go to the Kijun Sen, moves away, then we take another entry. That is one way of trade management. So example like this, goes to the Kijun, does not cross. And then we can take another entry if the first one did not win. But in this case, because it crossed, uh, we're going to wait for the next setup instead. And this one won in the first place and therefore there's no need for that. Wait for this to, okay, it's already just come out. So we're going to take the entry right there. A little bit late, but we're going to stay with it and just uh, you know, show you the first way of trading this method. I would like you to take notice that the MACD has significant thickness of the candles as well, and this actually guarantees the success of your trade. Not only is the OTC more predictable, it also has a higher payout as well. So it makes a lot more sense. I'm going to show you one more example. And then as for part two, I'm going to put that in a different video. I'd like you to observe that these charts seem as though they're being generated according to Elliott wave theory. Come on, we missed this. We have one here. No! Bad, really bad entry, but we'll, we'll see how it works out. Anyway, the MACD is going well. We really should have gotten over here. If this one loses, I will show you how to do the trade management. But as you can see, this is such a highly accurate strategy. It's so Win rate is so high. So for those people who do not want to martingale unnecessarily, this is for you. Just look at that. So I have just run out for you three examples of this strategy. It is highly accurate. And... I hope this helps you out in your trading. If you have any questions on the settings or taking the entries, please put them in the comments down below. To keep things more focused and organized, I want to break this down into two parts. This is a part one video. The part two video is going to be about the Martingale away on a single candle expiry. We'll do that in the next video. So this is going to be for those people who do not want to Martingale so much, win with accuracy instead. In fact, you know, um, may not even be required to do Martingale at all. Let's say if you lose one, simply enter on the next. It will cancel the previous loss because the payout is so high on the OTC, so it's not even necessary. If you found this helpful, you know, please give me a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And by the way, I do have a free trading course delivered via email that you can click and get that in the video description as well. Let me know what you think about the strategy and let me know your results as well. Bye for now. I hope this strategy gives you a great start to your week. And let me know if you would like to be on a webinar where I would show you this strategy. And if you would like to write me via email questions or even send me your results on this, much appreciated. You're welcome to do so. My email can be found when you sign up for my email newsletter through the link in the video description. Good trading and you're watching the Binary Lab.